Good morning, children and parents. Welcome to day four of CBC. We hope you are joining us as a family as we present day four. Before we begin, we'd like to thank all our participants for sending us those pictures and videos. It's wonderful to see the kind of enthusiasm you're showing towards this camp. And a special note to all parents who have sent great reviews to our team. It is so encouraging to see parents supporting this. It helps us improve as we go. Now, we'd like to remind you once again, day five, that is tomorrow, CBC begins at 6 a.m. We have mass that's telecasted live at 6.30 a.m. So please log in at 6 a.m. And then join us for Mass too. I hope you have your home altars ready and set for it too. And as promised, we hope you have a fun day ahead and enjoy the task that we have in store for you. Enjoy! CBC 2020 CBC CBC 2020 CBC CBC 2020 This is CBC 2020, yeah! Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together today. May everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help. We thank you for your protection and love and offer up this online camp into your hands. Even though we aren't there to praise and worship you physically, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts that all of our thoughts and actions would reflect your holy will. We pray for all the volunteers and helpers of this camp and pray that you will speak to us through them. We pray for the smooth functioning of the camp and ask for your guidance, wisdom and support. Thank you for loving us so much and showing us your mercy and peace every day. We honour you as our King, Lord and Saviour. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just wanna be seen by ba 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 I just wanna be seen by ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be sheep ba 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 I don't wanna be a Pharisee No way I don't wanna be a Pharisee No way Cause they're not there, you see I don't wanna be a Pharisee Cause I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord my soul will keep I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 Oh I don't wanna be a hypocrite Oh I don't wanna be a hypocrite Cause they're not hip with it I don't wanna be a hypocrite 
nothing Cause I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 I pray the Lord of my soul to keep I just wanna be a sheep ba 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 Well, I don't wanna be a Sadducee I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just wanna be a sheep, ba 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 ba. Can 
to go faster. I want to hear you all. Yes, that's the spirit. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. That's what Tony knows. A little bit faster. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. That's what Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. Tony Chestnut goes out of God. Tony knows. Tony knows. today and I hope you enjoy making them okay all these things that I'm gonna teach you is only made of paper I'm sure you have paper at home right so the first thing we're gonna be doing is a small sticker that you can probably stick in your rooms or on your books this sticker should probably make you remember that you are the lamb and our God is the shepherd that's what the theme is right feed the lamb I'm sure you will love the sticker that we're gonna make 
so let's start making it okay to start off with we need a sheet of paper and the first step is you will fold it and you are gonna make a circle a tiny circle you can either draw the circle and cut it out or just This is how the circle will look after you cut it out. After doing the circle, you can use the same sheet of paper and you will draw a sheet. And this is how the sheep's face will look. Next we will do the two legs of the sheep, okay, that would probably be seen. So now we have our main things that we have for the sticker. So now I want you to take the head of the sheep and stick it right here. The legs come behind. And now we have the most exciting part that is to stick cotton all over okay not the whole thing but i will show you where to after making your sheep i want you to take a small strip of paper and write your name whatever name you have you will write on the sheet okay i hope you had fun making that sticker and this is how my sticker looks thing that we're gonna learn is how to make a hanging for your room okay something that you can hang it anywhere and let's get started okay first I want you to take a sheet of paper and cut a big circle okay let's start once you cut out the circle I want you to draw a big sheep face okay you can draw any sheep face that you like None of us is perfect. And that's how a sheep face looks and I want to write feed my sheep on top so after this I want you to poke a small hole down here and take a small thread or a twine that you have at home it can be any any color so this is how it looks when you tie up your thread and next i want you to draw a heart if you have red paper please do do that if you don't have you can just use a white paper and color it red or pink or whatever color you like it looks when you finish the heart and I want you to write fed in the heart because I want you to remember that Jesus will always be our shepherd and we will always be his sheep and no ma matter what he always feeds us and keeps us safe from all danger and we just need to remember that as long as we have Jesus in our life we will always be fed and we don't have to worry about anything this is how your hanging will look once you finish it you can just hang them anywhere you want so these are the things that you learned today and i hope you had fun see you guys soon hi Today is day 4 of Bible camp and are you ready for some more fun and activities? Okay, let's get started. We need to start with a prayer like we always do. 
So bow your head, close your eyes and join your hands. And repeat after me, okay? Dear Jesus, thank you for filling me with so much knowledge about you during this camp. Even during this situation in the world, we are still holding on to your word because only you can change everything together for our good. I pray that I understand everything during the class today. I love you so much, Jesus. Amen. Today, we're going to be learning how to be shepherds. God is calling each and every one of us, no matter who we are or what we think of ourselves, He want to be fed by God and in turn, we have to feed other lambs. It can be your neighbors, your friends in school, or someone who doesn't have a friend in school, or anywhere you see who's lonely, or the poor, mainly the poor, and even the elderly people. Today's class is going to be so much fun. Trust me, we're going to start the class with an activity. So the picture showed some sprinkles, some chocolate, and some peanut butter and biscuits. So the biscuits represent you without God. So you're empty. And then the chocolate is the Holy Bible. It represents the Holy Bible. You have the word and the good news from God. You smear it on the, on the biscuit. You can put whatever sprinkles you want. If you don't have sprinkles at home or even chocolate, you can always add peanut butter and as sprinkles you can use powdered sugar. I've added the other biscuit to this and this represents you fully knowledge with God's word along with the disciples you have made with your, maybe your parents, your friends, Spread the word of God too. And now you can share this and spread the good news to the other lambs. And you can send me a picture or a video of you sharing this to someone at home and taking a bite. There was a country called Nineveh, which was the neighboring country. And here they never listened to God. They always went against God. They used to lie, they were greedy, they fought with other people and what not. And God was very angry with this country, Nineveh. Let me tell you the story of Jonah and the whale. Jonah was a wise old man. He lived in Israel long time ago. Everyone loved him so much because he was such a good man. He listened to God all the time and prayed to him and always obeyed his teachings. And Jonah told God, God, how can I go there? How do you expect me to go help them? They steal from us. They fight with us all the time. And then God told Jonah, I have decided to give them a second chance. And I want you to go there and bring them back to me and it is possible only by you and then God told Jonah to go to the people of Nineveh and tell them about God and tell them about his love and shape their ways and become good people and Jonah told God God how can I go there 
How do you expect me to go help them? They steal from us. They fight with us all the time. And then God told John, I have decided to give them a second chance. And I want you to go there and bring them back to me. And it is possible only by you. And then Jonah went back home and thought about it. He was very scared to enter Nineveh because they were his enemies. He finally decided not to go and disobey God. He escaped from God and hid from him. He, he walked and walked over many deserts and barren lands and finally found a shore. And there was a ship which was taking off to the opposite direction of where Nineveh was. When Jonah got into the ship, he saw that everyone had their own god. Like they had the god of the moon, god of the star, god of the land and what not. But Jonah said nothing to them. And then Jonah went and slept. And when Jonah was sleeping, there was huge storm. The sea started to move like that and like this. The waves were high, it started to rain and there were thunder. People started to get really scared what is going to happen to them. And then Jonah was fast asleep. On the hey Jonah, wake up, wake up. How can you sleep like this? There is a storm outside and the ship is going to be torn apart. Wake up and pray to your God. We have been praying to our gods for some time now, but the storm is continuing to rock the boat. No, this is the work of my God, the one and only true God who made the whole world. Did you do anything to make him angry? How can we stop the storm? I tried to hide away from him. He gave me a task, but I refused to do it. That's why he's angry at me. Now what should we do? There is nothing else to do. You have no other option but to throw me off the ship, and then the storm will go away. My God will leave you alone. No, we cannot do that. You're a good man. We don't want to harm you. Let us try to throw some of the cargo out and see if we can keep the ship afloat. The sailors started throwing out the packages loaded on the ship one by one, but the storm did not go away. There is no use in doing this. Throw me into the water. Save yourself. I hope your God keeps you safe. When the sailors realized that they had no other option, they threw Jonah off the ship into the sea. And like a miracle, the storm subsided. And after he was thrown into the ocean, a big whale came and swallowed Jonah. Jonah then woke up and realized where he was. It was dark and so cold. It was also very smelly and then Jonah realized that God was doing all of this because he was trying to run away from him. He spent three days and three nights in the belly of the whale but the only thing he did was pray to God and ask for God for forgiveness. On the fourth day, the huge whale spat out Jonah on the land and went back into the sea. As soon as Jonah got up, God spoke to him telling, Jonah, you cannot hide from me. I am your God and I am always with you and I can see you wherever you are. So Jonah was so upset that he disowned God. That means he did not, you know, accept God. He wanted to hide away from God. He was so upset about it. And he asked forgiveness to God, asking, What can I do, God, that I have done this? I'm sorry now. God told Jonah the same thing. Go to Nineveh and spread the love of God. God thought that they deserved a second chance and become good people. Jonah obeyed God this time and went and spoke to the people about God's love and God's teachings. To Jonah's surprise, the people listened to Jonah and to whatever he said. Even the king called Jonah and spoke to Jonah. 
and then he told that God is very angry with you all for whatever you all have done. You all are sinning against God. So Jonah stayed there for many, many days and taught them who God is, how to pray, how to get back to God, a lot of things. And the people of Nineveh listened to Jonah and followed him. God, seeing this, was very, very happy with the people of Nineveh and he thought that he will never punish them again because they listened to God and they listened to Jonah and Jonah was sent by God to them. Yes, we have come to the end of the session. I would like to take you all through the memory lane of these four days and see what we have learned about the shepherd and the sheep. I would like you all to remember four things. So the first thing is know your shepherd. So the first day we spoke about a parable called the lost sheep. Yes. So if you all do not know who your shepherd is, you and I will be lost sheep in this world. And yes, it is very important to know who our shepherd is. Anyone y'all can choose to be your shepherd, but the right shepherd will lead and love his sheep like nobody else. And the only shepherd who gave his life for us is Jesus Christ. We need to follow him being his sheep because he loves us so much that he gave his life for us. So remember, Jesus is our good shepherd. Second thing I want you all to remember is how the shepherd feeds us. On day two, we heard a story about a little boy called David and he was a shepherd boy. How God spoke to him and how strong and courageous he was to go and fight the big giant with just five stones and caught by his set. Yes, y'all need to listen to God and God nourishes y'all through the Holy Bible. And God also nourishes and talks to y'all through your parents, through your elders, through your teachers and y'all need to listen to them. If it is difficult for y'all to read this Bible and this is my Bible, it's a I think it's a Bible for all the elders. You all need to ask your parents to get your a children's Bible. If you all don't have it, there's no problem. You can ask your parents to get your a children's Bible and start reading it on a daily basis. Ask your parents to help you all in this. It might be difficult in the starting, but it is time for you little ones to start reading the Bible. And God is going to be so happy with you all. So the third thing I want you all to remember is how to become a shepherd. On the third day, we continue the story of David, the little boy. But how he became the king of a huge kingdom was the end of the story. God called David, even though he was a little boy, he made him the king of the kingdom. That means he made him the shepherd of a huge sheep flock. Isn't that amazing? God will call even y'all to become a shepherd. In fact, God is calling y'all. Y'all also can become a shepherd. But how to become a shepherd is a question. So y'all, first thing, as I said, you'll need to read the Bible. Second thing, you'll need to follow Jesus. Whatever Jesus is trying to tell y'all, you'll need to follow him. You'll need to listen to him. Listen to God's voice and follow him. The third thing that y'all will need to know is pray. Pray to God every day. Pray to God and ask him to give you the strength and ask him to talk to you. Pray to Mama Mary. Ask her to intercede for you. Ask her to give you the grace to hear the voice of God. The fourth thing I want you all to remember is go and feed others. So as you have become a shepherd now, just like Jesus, 
they'll need to go and talk to everyone else, whoever's there around you, whomever you meet. Go and talk about Jesus, about the word of God that you are reading every day. Just like jo Jonah, you are not supposed to run away. You will need to talk about Jesus to each and everyone else around you. Maybe it could be your friend or it can be your neighbors, it can be your teachers, anyone. Doesn't mean that you should talk to your friend itself. You can talk to people who are bigger than you. People who are bigger than you just know, maybe they don't know how much you know. You can be their shepherd and they can be your sheep too. Isn't that amazing? You're going to go and talk to so many people, touch their lives and they are going to become a shepherd too. You need to take this step of becoming a shepherd and going and feeding others with what knowledge you have got from God. And God is going to be really happy with you little kids. God has told in the Gospel of Mark, Let the little children come to me, do not stop them, for theirs is the kingdom. So God is telling that the kingdom of God belongs to children like yours. And he loves children a lot. Let me end it by telling, whatever it is, Please put God at the first place of your life. Give Him your priority and time and you will see how God works wonders in your life. So the four things are, repeat it after me. First thing, know your shepherd. Second thing, know how your shepherd feeds you. Third thing, how to become a shepherd and the fourth thing go feed others will you all remember this will you all take this and go tell everyone else what you all learned these four important things and will you all explain to them all the stories i told you all so coming to the end of this let's move to the next section I've given a small little activity. I know we have done the activity first, but this is an extra activity related to the story that we have learned. Hope you'll enjoy it. For the activity, you all will be needing a white sheet, color pencils, a pencil, glue, and mainly a clip. I have taken my white sheet and I have drawn a whale and a man. So I want you all to draw this. And if you are not able to draw, you all can download the link below and you can take a printout and just color it and cut it. Now we need to color them. So after I drew my veil, I colored it and I cut it into two halves. And then I drew the eye for the veil. And then I colored the man and I cut it up. So now what you do is you'll take the clip, apply some gum on the clip, like this. And then you will stick your wheel like this. And then take the upper part make sure your wheel is stuck like this it should look something like this take the man apply some gum in the front very little and then stick him to the wheel like this and your art is ready make sure the man isn't seen This is 
tell my news. Let's see how yours looks like. Send us the images of your wheel to the number given below. Yes, we have come to the end of the class. This is a small reminder, tomorrow being Sunday, there will be celebration of the Holy Mass at 6 a.m. IST. Children, please join in along with your family. And if you are not able to join us at 6 a.m. IST, the Mass will be available at... Hey, what's up kids? Welcome. The activity that we have planned for you all today is going to be amazing, fun and crazy. I am Martin Michael. And I am Benjamin Michael. So guys, get ready for the activity that we have planned for you, and that is a treasure hunt. All right, you've got to be fast like me, because they call me Black Lightning. I'm super fast. Remember, there are four important rules. Note them down, because we're not going to repeat it again. First point. Guys, I hope you're locked and loaded for the rules. Rule number one is about time. This activity is going to be conducted for just one hour. So make sure you're fast, smart, and quick enough to complete your tasks. Rule number two, the clues will be given to you. After you complete the clue, there'll be a task that will be given to you. Only when you complete the task, you'll get your next clue. So the clue and the task go hand in hand. Rule number three, if you thought killing mosquitoes this lockdown was tough, Wait for our clues. Remember, they're gonna be funky, they're gonna be different, they're gonna be smart, and they're gonna be a lot of puzzles. So get and be ready, because you don't know, you might find a pineapple. So it can be music, it can be from the Bible, it can be things from home, and so many other things. So keep in mind, it is different. The last point, you have each of you have a point of contact. The numbers will be given on the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So please note it down. All information will be passed only through your point of contact. So please keep in touch with them. So guys, get set and be ready for Treasure Hunt 2020. Okay, an instruction before we begin Treasure Hunt. For all the clues that you're given, please send us the answers in a single message, serial number wise, okay? We, once we get one message with all the answers in it, then will we send you the task that lies ahead. Okay, if you send us individually, it's going to be a little problematic given the number of participants that we have in this camp. So please remember, once again, get the answers to all the, clue, all the clues, send it to us as a single message in the WhatsApp number, and then your task will be assigned to you. Good luck and have fun.
and Benji for organizing the treasure hunt session. Good luck children, good luck parents. Once again, we'd love for you to share videos and pictures of your tasks. We'd love to see your participation and we will be sharing them on, as a throwback tomorrow. With that, we conclude day four. Once again, reminding you day five tomorrow, we begin at between 6 and 6.15 a.m., latest 6.15 a.m. Indian Standard Time. But we will begin with a Mass at 6.30 a.m., which will be telecasted live. Join us for Holy Mass. Hope you've got your altars ready. We will see you tomorrow. Until then, good day and God bless.